Hopefully you can see this. This is where we planted our tomatoes a week ago. Today's Memorial Day, 2012. See all those little green things? They're all weeds. Now you could try to dig them up right now. Or you could put compost over top of them. That's what we're doing today. One of the things when we put these tomatoes in on a 45 degree angle into this bed, we don't want people stepping on them. And when you do step on them, if you got all this compost on top of it, it helps cushion the weight of the foot being applied to it. And that's our compost pile over there. And we're trying to work on this side just so we can get by there a little easier. We don't want to mess up and hit the onions. I've been working on this end. We don't know where these roots are coming from. They do it every year. You can see a big root over there. I don't think it's coming from an apple. It's probably coming from this big pine tree. But it's a little tight walking through there. And see, we've hit a couple of the onion leaves. and uh, So we're trying to take this side off of it first. And I'm working on this corner so that uh, we'll not get on the onions. The onions are starting to bulb up, which is a good sign. Most of them have at least 9 to 11 leaves on them, and uh, I think 1 or 2 have 13. That's the maximum that they get, so that's the biggest onion you'll have. But anyway, they're bulbing up in there. Meanwhile, back to filling up this wheelbarrow with my old pitchfork. The next time I show you this, all that will be covered. You can see our beans are up. I got some brown spots on my leaves I'm not really used to. It looks almost like it was frozen. You know that didn't happen. But uh, we'll have to see how it goes. And while I got this little video going, I'll go over here and the... Uh, experimental compost bag is slowly changing shape the pile itself has gone down some probably six or eight inches I've been piling up everything on that end to here and I took all the loose stuff off this compost pile and put it there another thing about compost you see I've got the drip irrigation well after we level that out with a root a rake we will take a manure fork and pull that uh, drip irrigation up on top of it so you can tell when one of them might get clogged. When they're buried underneath it you can't tell and you could have two or three plants not getting water. So we'll pull them up on top of the compost after we level it out. Hopefully you can see this. Last year we were digging in the compost pile here where it doesn't exist anymore. And there was a four foot black snake buried down in there and I happened to run the pitchfork through him. Well, I just uncovered a honeybee nest in this compost pile. I've never had one in a compost pile, but I pulled some off and threw it in the wheelbarrow, and bees went everywhere, and my 70-year-old bones went everywhere. First, I thought they were yellow jackets, and I, they might still be, but I think they're honeybees. We've seen quite a number of honeybees this year, and I knew we had a natural hive. I just didn't think it was in my compost pile. I'm I stuck my pitchfork in the ground so that I could steady this thing. Then maybe you could see them. And we'll try to zoom in here. I think the hive opening is down there on the bottom. There's a couple little grooved openings in it. But that's a new one on me. Honeybees in a compost pile. I'll back this thing up. I'm sitting here in shorts and a short sleeve shirt. They were yellow jackets, I think they'd have nailed me. <laughs> 